What's going on guys? Protodoge here and today we are in an undisclosed location. But um yeah. I wanted to talk about Valhalla because I feel like a lot of people have an idea of what it is. You know, it's plays the play to earn metaverse game from Floki, but nobody's really gone in depth, at least not that I've seen in a video on YouTube about exactly what Valhalla is and how it's going to use Floki in the game to actually bring value to the token right so before we get started i want you guys to hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification button make sure that you don't miss any more of my future videos and uh, yeah we're gonna jump right into it so i have a list i wrote down a list here um actually shout out to b he's one of the core leaders of floki b the viking and i actually got this from his thread on twitter which was pretty thorough and if you guys haven't seen it go check it out go follow him on twitter all that good stuff good peoples and um yeah let's jump right into it so valhalla the metaverse case for floki right and why it's significantly undervalued in my opinion you know what i mean um, so let's talk, let's look at the metaverse trend right now, currently, right in the crypto space. So the metaverse industry is a one trillion annual revenue opportunity, according to Grayscale. The metaverse games will benefit mostly from its growth, and it's there's a projected annual revenue of four hundred billion dollars by twenty twenty five, and that's huge i've been saying crypto gaming is the future i've posted about it several times on twitter everywhere like i i because I, I look at stuff like gta i look at stuff like um fortnite and how popular it was you know with kids and, and like people just playing video games all day every day and if you take that type of popularity and you mix it with the play to earn mechanism you can actually make a living by playing video games something that you know we could have never dreamed of growing up back in the day right According to Coin Market Cap, Metaverse cryptocurrencies currently have a combined market cap of over $35 billion, right? So Mana, which is the central land, and AXS, which is Axie Infinity, they're the ones that are leading the pack in this regard, right? I've told people this before too in interviews. I look at Axie Infinity meets Doge as to what I see Valhalla being for Floki in the future. Currently, Mana and Axie Infinity both sit at about six billion dollar market cap each which you know i also made a post about on twitter talking about sand sandbox right and i was like if you guys had a long-term hold between the central land and sandbox which one would you pick right and i've been looking to invest in the metaverse anyway right so i was just kind of asking people most people are going towards the central land but there's a lot of people that really like sandbox too so metaverse is only the beginning it's going to be even bigger in 2022 in my opinion so there's yes there's still a lot of room to grow when you look at floki currently floki's market cap is at about 1.3 billion and if you're looking at mana being 6 billion and axie infinity being about 6 billion still a lot of room to grow for floki okay and valhalla is going to kind of like push it forward as soon as it drops let's look into how how floki fits in the metaverse through valhalla right so when, when the game Valhalla comes out, it's going to have the play to earn mechanism, obviously, like Axie Infinity does. And it'll feature, one, a gardening system. It'll feature, two, an in-game characters, in-game characters known as Vera, which are like the monsters, you know, in the game, pets or whatever you want to call them, that they'll be able to battle each other. Um, which, which comes to, number three, a robust battle system through the Veras that are battling each other. You'll be able to earn Floki just by winning battles with your Vera, right? Um, there's also an in-game ship system. That's number four, which means you'll be able to customize ships. You'll be able to buy ships, sell ships, all that good stuff. You know, it's set in, in, in Viking theme, you know, back in the day, medieval times and stuff like that. And there's also an item system. So that's number five. There's going to be an item system as well where you can develop uh, items, whether it's I don't know if there will be like enchanted items. I'm sure there will be something along those lines where like I'm thinking of like Skyrim, you know what I mean, where you have items and then you enchant them and they become more valuable and you'll be able to sell and buy those as well. Um, and then when we look at the gardening system, in particular, they will let players grow their crops and they'll be able to sell them in the marketplace, right? So you can use crops for a variety of reasons. People are going to be able to grow their own crops and sell them in game for Floki, right? Because the marketplaces in the game are all going to be 
Floki to buy and sell things. So also, players, when we're talking about Vera, players can battle and capture in-game characters known as Vera, which is what I just talked about, and they'll also be able to sell them and auction them off if they want, right? So that's another thing. All of this is going to be using Floki to, to be able to happen in the game. Uh, the battle system lets players collect Floki tokens when they win battles, and the in-game ship system allows people to trade and customize their ships for Floki as well, right? Um, the item systems allows players to craft and sell items to other players, and like I said, possibly enchanted items. There's also the Floki Tar integration, and I also want to talk about that too, right? So I spoke to the core leaders over at Floki, and I asked about the Floki Tars, and I was like, okay, I understand having a Floki Tar is going to be valuable in the future, and that's the NFT, the Floki NFT are called Floki Tars. You can buy them on OpenSea. I have about 20 of them that I bought with my own money, and they will be able to be burned in the game Valhalla, right? And I asked, my question was this, if, if you can burn Floki Tars in the game, and the more you burn, the more rare they are in real life, right? Why would, it, why would anybody want to burn a Floki Tar if it's going to be more in the future, right? So what they told me is whatever you get in exchange for your Floki Tar is going to be worth it, right? So it might be an item in the game that you can't get any other way besides trading a Floki Tar in for it. Or it might be a Vera that you can't get in any other way without trading a Floki Tar in it. Or a ship, I don't know. It's going to be worth it, though, for a lot of people to trade their Floki Tars in the game and burn them forever in exchange for this in-game item, right? What happens is the 10,000 Floki Tars that are created are going to keep going down and down and down and down at the more that they get burned in the game, so they'll be more valuable in the future, right? That's pretty cool. Okay, so Valhalla is actually designed to take a huge chunk of Floki tokens out of circulation and into the Valhalla ecosystem as adoption increases, right? So there's going to be a treasury within the Valhalla game where, you know, where a lot of the Floki is going to actually be in. And the only way to buy in-game items in Valhalla will be with in-game tokens, which are Floki, like I said. Um, what else? What else? And this and in increased use of Floki in the video game is going to add value to it out in the real world and it's going to bring the price up, right? That's the adoption of it. Um, so currently, Floki has about 370,000 holders and that's going to continue to go up. Um, and it's been trending on Twitter as well. You know what I mean? Like this has been happening for a while now and it just keeps happening. So, you know, the popularity is there. People are talking about Floki. The marketing campaigns are going crazy. You know, it's all very aggressive marketing, billboards everywhere, uh, soccer team partnerships. They're signing teams left and right. You know, people are watching millions of people watch these soccer teams like people don't know this. A lot of people don't know this, actually. But the most popular sport in the whole world is soccer. You know what I mean? So Floki's got a ton of teams that have the logo on it you know www.floki.com is on their on their jerseys and they're getting broadcasted on tv on a daily basis whenever they play that's pretty cool like i said valhalla is going to be huge floki is going to be an integral part of it so the more that gets used in the game whether it's to buy and sell items whether it's to buy and sell vera whether it's to buy and sell ships crops whatever whatever have you you can use Floki, and that's really going to help Floki. So I just want to touch on that a little bit. A lot of people don't know too much about Valhalla, but it's actually supposed to be coming out, I want to say beta or something in February of next year, so 2022. They've been releasing little 3D renders here and there. They've been releasing artwork you know, for the game, for the system. And it's just overall super bullish, I think. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why I decided to buy into Floki, because this video game is going to be crazy, I, I believe, in the future here. And Floki's price is only going to go up. And right now it's at about, I want to say, at 12. So I'm going to be buying more Floki here soon. And I'm going to let you guys know as soon as I do it. Okay? So that's pretty much what I have for you guys today for this video, Valhalla and the metaverse and what it means for Floki. Um, before I show you guys my portfolios... I got hoodies, I got shirts, I got hats, I got pins, I got a bunch of stuff on the website. Uh, my merch, you guys should check it out, you know, check out my merch. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, make sure to get the merch at www.thedogecoinmillionaire.com. Different colors, different sizes. The link is in the description section. And if you decided to get something, thank you. If you decided not to get something, that's okay too, you know what I mean? We're all friends here at the end of the day. Um, but also before we get to my portfolio, if you guys want to get started investing, Weeble is for the people. I have a link in the description. You put in a hundred bucks and then they'll give you up to $300 in stocks on their platform, which is super awesome. And that's there for you. 
so yeah without any further ado let's get to my portfolio it's not looking very pretty because everything's pretty much down but i've also said this and i tweeted it that i feel like this month is probably the last time you guys are gonna be able to get just not only floki but, but like any tokens any coins at, at its lowest price because everything's kind of down right now right and as soon as I, I see as soon as january next next year comes around february everything's gonna start picking back up i think 2022 is gonna be a huge year for crypto so yeah Let's get to my portfolios. All right, guys. So here's my portfolio. This is my trust wallet. I am currently, I got to make a video about this soon, by the way. I just bought some more Floki. So I'm currently holding 941 million Floki coins. That's sitting at about $113,000. Uh, my Kiba Inu is down a little bit. Um, I put in 10K. I'm at six point. 4k right now uh super doge that i have as well i haven't talked to you guys about that but i'll i'll do that soon i'm at two thousand two hundred forty dollars on super doge a millionaire maker token is looking like shit it's at eight hundred and twenty one dollars at one point it was up sixty five thousand dollars and i had put five thousand of my own money into it so i'm reaching out to the dev seeing what the hell's going on because at this point, it's just looking like they really rug pulled everybody. And yeah, I'm trying to get some clarity on that. But uh, yeah, that's my trust wallet. Um, total is $123,000. Um, here's my MetaMask, where I got my friends, my friends tokens. I put in 10 k I'm sitting at $738, which is uh, not too pretty. But yeah, that's where that is. Let's check out my Robinhood um robin hood's also down but it's up in the last hour uh it's up four point three thousand dollars in the past day we're down twelve thousand this week though we're up twenty thousand dollars this past month we're down two hundred forty five thousand dollars past three months we're down two hundred forty three thousand dollars in the past year though we are up four hundred and forty six thousand dollars and of all time we are up over half a million dollars so that's there uh, how my doge doge is doing today 17 cents currently it's been going up the past hour today it's down though this week it's just kind of going down um it shot up right here once tesla accepted doge for merch and then it slowly went down since then but yeah it's also down this month but crypto's down in general you know so it is what it is uh in case you didn't know here's my position I currently have 3.9 million Doge coins with an equity of $666,000. Average cost basis is 4.7 cents per coin. My portfolio diversity is 100% because I'm crazy and I have all my money in Doge in Robinhood. And my total return is $481,000. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at with it right now. Um, yeah, guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and all that good stuff so you don't miss any more of my future videos. Always remember that I am not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and do your own research before investing in crypto or the stock market or anything, okay? Do not invest more money than you can afford to lose. Also remember, this is purely entertainment. And um, I'm sure you guys are getting a kick out of me losing a bunch of money, so that's what's up. But, um, yeah, that's where we're at, and I will see you guys on the next video. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.